the now the second method we are going to discuss is method of partial sums so the same curve we are going to consider which is nothing but modified exponential curve modified exponential curve its form is just now we have discussed y t is equal to a plus b what are the three parameters we have a b c we are going to find out these three unknown constants by using method of partial sums under this method name itself tells partial sums so let us say that we have uh, divided the given time series data into three equal parts time we under time series we have two variables one of the variable is time and the other is nothing but the value of the time period t indicates the time here under partial sums means here we are there whether of three selected points here sums we are going to calculate sum partially means divide the entire time series data into three equal parts so let us divide the first one into 1 to n first part second one is nothing but second after n the next number is n plus 1 n plus 1 to 2n and another part is nothing but next one 2n plus 1 to 3n means entire time series data suppose that you are given with uh, 60 points if 60 point points are given to you divide that into three parts called 1 to 20 21 to 40 and 41 to 60 with an interval of 20 similarly you divide the entire 1 to 3n period data time periods into three equal periods here also you have n of length n here also of length n and here also of length n so we have divided the three points in the the entire points into three subsequent three equal points 1 to n n plus 1 to 2n 2n plus 1 to 3n so after dividing this to calculate to obtain the expressions for a b c we are got these are partial partial means half of we are divided into three uh, different parts we are going to calculate the sums over these that is what is the curve given to you y t is equal to a plus b c power t okay now let us find out the sums over this sums means s1 let generally we use s1 for sum over the first part sum means summation y is e, t is equal to first over these periods 1 to n yt which is equal to sigma t is equal to 1 to n a plus b c power t so let us take the summation to the two terms sigma t is equal to 1 to n a plus sigma t is equal to 1 to n b c power t so if you observe the first term this is independent of t here the running variable is t so if it is taken out sigma t is equal to 1 to n 1 plus b can be taken out sigma sigma t power t t is equal to 1 to n so as uh, i think we will get n here so a n plus b sigma t is uh, c power t t is equal to 1 to sigma is nothing but plus so an is equals to first put t is equals to 1 you will get c power 1 okay next you will get c square plus so on c power n okay here we have expanded sigma by putting different values for t an plus b into c plus c square plus c power n i think this forms a gp geometric progression sum of uh, first n terms in gp is a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 where r is nothing but common ratio how do you obtain the common ratio second term by first term here r is nothing but simply c so by by using sum of the n terms in gp you will get a is nothing but first term here first term here is c into c power n minus 1 by Plus one. Okay, so uh, you got S one is equal to a n plus b c into a n plus b c c power n minus one by c minus one. This is nothing but S one. There we have cal we have uh, calculated y one, y two, y three. We took y two minus y one, y three minus y two. We have eliminated each constant at each stage. Here we are going to find out s one, s two, s three, s two minus s one, s three minus s two. S two will be here. Sigma 
t is equal to n plus 1 to 2n by t. Again, sigma t is equal to n plus 1 to 2n by t is nothing but a plus b c power t. Again, the same one. Expand the sigma. Sigma a plus b sigma c power t. So, here also you have a length of uh, the same one. S2 is equal to n. You will get S2 is equal to S2 is equal to a n plus b into here t starts from n plus 1 so we will get c power n plus 1 c power n plus 2 plus so on c power 2n so a n you can take out c power n from all these terms as a common one you take out c power n c plus c square plus so on c power n again this forms a gp with a common ratio of c c power n into a into r power n minus 1 a means c into c power n minus 1 by ok so you got a n plus b into c power n into c power uh, c power n into c power c is c power n plus 1 into c power n minus 1 by c minus 1 this is s2 can you guess s1 in the same terms s3 s3 is nothing but starting from n 2n plus 1 to 3n so you will get this as as it is plus b c power b c power 2n plus 1 into c power n minus 1 i wrote by uh, symmetry you got you wrote uh, you have calculated s1 in for s2 you got a n is common in all c power for s2 you got b power c n into uh, this is c n plus 1 so b c power n plus 1 into c uh, b c power n plus 1 into c power n minus 1 means only this term is changing for s3 you will get the starting is 2n plus 1 into c power n minus 1 by c power n minus 1 by c minus 1. So, in the same steps you calculate s2 minus s1 which is nothing but what is s2? s2 is a n plus b c power n plus 1 c power n minus 1 by c minus 1 minus s1 is nothing but a n minus b c power n c power n minus 1 by c minus 1 ok a n a n cancels and you will get b c power n minus 1 by this can be taken out you will get c power n plus 1 minus c you can take out b c power n by c this 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 as the common one you will get b c power n minus 1 by c minus 1 from these two again you can take out c common you will get c power n minus 1 you will get b c b c c power n minus 1 whole square by c minus 1 this is nothing but s2 minus s1 similarly how much you will get s2 minus s3 minus s2 as s2 minus s2 you will get as b c power n minus 1 whole square by c minus 1 into c power n plus 1 ok you got s2 minus s1 as b c power n minus 1 whole square by c1 and you to try it out you will get this one s2 minus uh, s3 minus s2 as b c power n minus 1 whole square by c minus 1 into c power n plus 1 so you have obtained s2 minus s1 and s3 minus s2 now let us divide these two dividing S3 minus S2 by Z By this, in the first case, you have eliminated A. Here, B is being eliminated. You got S3 minus S2 by S2 minus S1 is equal to C power N plus 1 by C. 
again this is nothing but simply c power n so c will be s3 minus s2 by s2 minus s1 whole power 1 by n so we have obtained c in the like method of uh, three points only now using this c let us calculate b and then a first uh, in the similar steps we have calculated s1 s2 s3 by doing s2 minus s1 s3 minus s2 we have eliminated a by dividing those two b is being eliminated c is obtained now we use this c in this equation to obtain b what is s2 minus s1 s2 minus s1 is b c c power n minus 1 whole square by c minus 1 let us use c here it's a little uh, uh, lengthy one s2 minus s1 is equal to b c by c minus 1 okay let us now put c power n here what is c c is nothing but s3 minus s2 by s2 minus s1 whole power 1 by n and power n minus 1 whole square by c minus 1 is nothing but now b c by c minus 1 these two cancels s3 minus s2 by s2 minus s1 minus 1 whole square we can take lcm b c by c minus 1 into see for uh, simplicity just i have substituted here only not these two i left as it is because uh, uh, i am going to solve in another way s3 minus s2 minus s2 plus s1 so we got s2 minus s1 is equal to bc by c minus 1 into okay s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 by s3 s2 minus s1 whole square now to me let me So here we are going to find out B. So what will be B from here? B will be, if we shift all these terms to the RHS, this remains as it is, S2 minus S1. This C by C minus 1 becomes C minus 1 by C into the reciprocal of this, S2 minus S1 by S3 minus 2S2 plus S1 whole square. Okay? So this will be, uh, B is equal to, you got S2 minus S1 into C. So in terms of C we have obtained B. So uh, you can write it uh, directly S1 is equal to you have this one AN plus BC by C minus 1 into C power N minus 1. Okay. Now to find out A, to calculate uh, the expression for A. Now let us write this as AN as it is. Now we have BC by C minus 1. From this what will be BC by C minus 1? From this BC by C minus 1 will be, you will get S2 minus S1 into Okay, so on, on substituting these two, you can write the value directly AN plus, okay, S2 minus S1 into S2 this in place of BC BC by C minus 1 I am substituting this S2 minus S1 by S3 minus 2S2 plus S1 whole square into S3 minus S2 by minus 1 so this will be AN plus okay this one this is nothing but whole cube you will get S2 minus S1 whole cube by s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 whole square 
into this one is nothing but s s3 minus s3 minus if you take lcm an plus i think one uh, cube and square will be get cancelled in that s2 minus s1 whole square here also you'll get the same term s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 the denominator as one of the term is cancelled you'll get s s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 this is nothing but uh, s1 am i right from this a will be an will be s1 minus s2 minus s1 whole square by s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 so from this a will be 1 by n s1 minus s2 minus s1 whole square by s3 minus 2s2 plus s1 whole square so for the method of three selected points partial sums we have to divide the entire period into two three parts t1 t2 t3 such that uh, t1 or t is uh, first period is 1 to n n plus 1 to 2n 2n plus 1 to 3n we have calculated three sums s1 s2 and s3 in this way and we have calculated s2 minus s1 s3 minus s1 where a is being eliminated by dividing b is being eliminated you have calculated c by substituting c in s2 minus s1 and going further simplification you have obtained b after this b after b is being obtained we have uh, substituted in s1 to calculate uh, a with these three values the curve uh, the modified exponential curve can be fitted for the given time series data okay thank you